Hello lovely Libras. Welcome to your October birthday forecast. Well this is quite an interesting month because we've got your ruler going to go retrograde for almost six weeks and also next month we've got a lot happening when uh, Jupiter is going to change signs but more about that into next month. So this month really starts out with this retrograde on the 6th of the month um, when we've got Venus going retrograde from your second into your first house. So it's going to retrograde into your sign as well. So what does this mean? Well, whenever Venus goes retrograde, it's an opportunity for you to uh, reflect upon your relationships in general, your love life, and also your finances. And with it being here in your financial house, there may be something to redo, reevaluate, uh, to do differently financially. It's also set in house of self esteem. How do you feel about yourself and your self worth and how unique and special you are in your own way? And then as it retrogrades um, uh, between, it says so from the 6th of October until November 16th, so gradually through the middle it begins to retrograde into your first house. And um, this is very much about reflecting upon how you present yourself to the world, how you want to be seen. Libras often, uh, you know, you like to really look good, you like to look uh, nice when you go out and uh, meet people. And so maybe there are some changes that you'd like to make in the way that you present yourself. I'm just going to suggest that whenever I've had a big haircut or anything uh, to do with my face during Venus retrograde, I've never been very happy with it. So you might want to reflect on what you'd like to do and wait until the middle of November before taking action or do it in the first few days of October. And also it can bring um, a love from the past back into your life. Sometimes to get the relationship going, sometimes to show you a lesson that maybe you hadn't learned, and sometimes maybe just to release it and open the door and just allow yourself to walk on freely. And on the 8th of the month, we've got a glorious new moon in your first house, which is beautiful for you, lovely Libras. We've got um, all this energy in about you right now. Yes, you have a tendency to want to give, to help others, and oh, I don't mind, is it all right with you? You know, all those sort of Libra things that, of course, I can identify with you very well. Uh, having a lot of Libra in my own chart um, and also for you just a, a bit of a spring clean really. Um, am I giving because I really want to give? Am I giving unconditionally so I'm not expecting anything in return? Um, and is there balance in the give and take of my relationships? And this is just an opportunity for some lovely new beginnings for you, lovely Libras. New beginnings financially, new beginnings possibly with a job direction, new beginnings in your relationships. And also in your relationship with yourself, how you see yourself. And on the 10th of the month, we've got Mercury going retrograde. It's going to retrograde back into your 12th house. Um, sorry. Just cancel clear that, I got really uh, uh, quite uh, distracted here with all this retrograde energy. Um, Mercury goes into your second house of money on the 10th of the month. And uh, Mercury joining Jupiter here, an opportunity maybe to uh, think about uh, how you're spending your money. Yes, Jupiter may cause you to spend a lot more than uh, really might be sort of sensible at this time. And Mercury might have a, a really sensible look at your finances. And it's also really good for uh, uh, looking into any kind of a deal, anything that you might negotiate. And especially during Venus retrograde, you can often get a stonking deal, a real bargain for something maybe you've had your eye on for a while. Could even be a house or a car or something, a big item, and you get a real bargain during the retrograde. But just make sure you keep all the receipts and guarantees in case you change your mind 
by the middle of November. And on the 24th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in Taurus, resonating there with Uranus in your eighth house. And this is shining a light for you on intimacy. Do you allow people really close to you? Are you being careful around certain people? Maybe something has to come to a head. Something even maybe blows up so that you can see it and say, hey, no, no more of this. I want to change it. There may be some significant changes in your partner's financial situation if you have a partner or in a partnership if you're involved in any kind of a partnership in business or in a personal situation. It could also, as well, bring something to a head, maybe with an investment, um, an inheritance, a pension, an insurance policy, something for you to see and maybe make a change. And also on the 24th of the month, we've got the sun coming into the second house as well, shining a light and once again saying, lovely Librans, uh, really, um, Notice all the talents you've got. You've got a great many talents, many of you are very, very creative, and this is really encouraging you maybe to turn all that creativity with Mars in the fifth house into your own business, into finding new clients, into doing something entrepreneurial and moving that along a little. So there you have it, my lovely Libras. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful birthday. You might want to have a personal reading about what this year is uh, showing for you as far as the cycles and the aspects are concerned and how you can make best use of what is coming up. Thank you very much for liking, commenting, sharing and subbing. Bye for now.